The process of getting the gun back in working order discharged and I accidentally shot myself. That's the same story. Virtually the same words you used at your arraignment. Objection! Topic. The prosecution's badgering her own witness. Sustained, Ms. Walsh, you introduced the topic of Detective Falconeri's gunshot wound. He has explained, I trust for the last time, how he came to be injured. Now move it along and get to something relevant or I'll dismiss the witness. Yes, Your Honor. Detective Falconeri, for the benefit of the jury, can you please clarify when you learned the defendant, Sonny Corinthos, was your father? On January 29th of this year. And what were the circumstances? I was at the home of the defendant. Lying on the ground, shot in the chest. Objection! Sustain, Ms. Walsh. My patience is wearing thin. I apologize, Your Honor. I merely wanted to remind the jury that the defendant is the father of Detective Falconeri, and the defendant didn't know it until after his son had been shot. Defendant? I was working undercover for the NYPD. We were investigating Sonny's alleged ties to organized crime. So you got a job working for Mr. Corinthos? Yes, I did. Can you describe the evidence you put together linking the defendant to the murder of Claudia? The night Claudia died, Sonny told me to go to the cabin and make sure it was burned to the ground. I also have a recording of Sonny telling me Claudia was dead. That was before her body showed up. He knew where she was buried and what the cause of death was before it was confirmed by the police. And what about tangible evidence? The clothes he was wearing? I saw Sonny burning something in his fireplace the night Claudia died. I came back the next morning, got the ashes, sent them to a police forensics lab. The ashes confirmed that they contained a silk shirt with Sonny's DNA and Claudia's blood on it. Thank you, Detective. That was quite an impressive and convincing list of evidence. Objection, Your Honor. Stain, continue without the editorials. Detective Falconeri, did your father, did Mr. Corinthos ever indicate to you that he deliberately and with malice a forethought murdered his wife? The question, Detective Falconeri, did the defendant ever tell you he had prior intent to kill his wife? No. Thank you, Detective. At this time, I would like to offer two more items into evidence. The human hair found in the cabin where Claudia Corinthos was murdered, and a statement by the county coroner confirming the hair is a DNA match for the defendant. Placing him at the scene of the crime. Objection, Your Honor. You get a chance to question the coroner, Ms. Miller. Let's see Sonny's little mouthpiece talk her way out of this Your one. Honor, the defendant has already admitted to being in the cabin. He has admitted to delivering the blow. Objection. The Counsel for the it's defense is speaking out of turn. You'll get your turn, Miss Miller. Now sit. Let the prosecution continue. When you were undercover, did you have the opportunity to observe the behavior of Mr. Corinthus' family? Family other than yourself. Objection! The witness did not know he was the defendant's son at this time. Sustain, be more specific. Certainly, Your Honor. Detective Falconeri, do you have reason to believe there was a witness to Claudia's murder? You gotta get her off this now. I'm, no, I'm serious. Don't get her off right now. In your professional opinion, was there a witness to this murder? I have no physical evidence to back up that conclusion, no. Your Honor, can you please direct the witness to answer the question? Objection, Your Honor. Overruled. Detective Falconeri, do you have reason to believe there was a witness to the death of Claudia Zakara Corinthos? Uh, look, Your Honor, I have no evidence to suggest that whatsoever. Well, that's a dodge, Detective. You're practically doing backflips to avoid answering the question. I'm going to ask you a direct question. And if you refuse to answer, I'll find you in contempt. What is the name of the potential witness to the death of Claudia Zakara Corinthos? mother's death we discussed it and what did Michael say he implied he had knowledge of Claudia's death but he never once confirmed that he saw her die are you aware that there's a subpoena issued for Michael yes do you know why that subpoena has not been served well obviously the court cannot locate Michael so mr. Corinthos has a son he didn't know about who suffered an inexplicable gunshot wound and another son in hiding who's a murder witness now, that doesn't exactly make the defendant a candidate for father of the year. Objection, Your Honor. Prosecution has veered completely off topic in an attempt to sway the jury. Sustain, Miss Walsh. You just won yourself a $1,000 fine. Want to go for contempt?
I apologize, Your Honor. Ignore everything after the witness's last reply. Strike the same from the record. I am done with this witness. Defense? Your Honor, we have no questions for this witness at the time, but we reserve the right to recall. Detective Falconeri, you're dismissed. to the fact that the witness was the defendant's son, but from this point on, your courtroom theatrics will not be condoned. You are to ignore counsel's grandstanding. If I strike something from the record, it should not factor into your decision-making. Again, I must caution you not to discuss the case with anyone, even amongst yourselves. Court is adjourned. All rise. bet Claire just used every trick in her tiny little repertoire short of juggling flaming torches to convince that jury that Claudia's murder was premeditated and I don't think she succeeded. What about Michael? Is she gonna make this all about him? I'm sure her strategy is going to be to convince that jury that Michael's absence from this courtroom means that he witnessed you killing Claudia. So, Sonny, by keeping him in hiding, you are de facto admitting your guilt. I can use one of those if you're boring.